of our Colorado trip here to Imogene, black bear, um, hopefully black bear, but over. Uh, and it's been raining pretty much nonstop since we got here. So hopefully it does dry out a little bit or, I mean, I'm not worried about the wet, but hopefully it just clears up a little bit just so we can see some of the stuff. I mean, this country is beautiful as you can see. You got your mom there. Uh, she was really muddy last night, but the rain washed her off. So here we are. That's just Tim's, Tim and Nicole's truck from behind me and uh, Vernon's camper right there um, and his trailer. So there's a really good, oh, that's cool. There's a waterfall up there type thing. But yeah, it's been raining nonstop. Um, so. Hopefully it does clear up a little bit, but I did get a new tent, so that kind of solved that problem, and I went with a brand I've never heard of, well, I'm not really familiar with, let's say that. I went with the Overland Vehicle System tent, and uh, the price point was just right for me until I can get something a little bit better, but I'm going to be honest, I stayed dry. Um, and I stayed really warm. Uh, I think the temperature is roughly around 44, 42 degrees, something like that, and raining. So, stayed warm, stayed dry. Uh, it wasn't windy. I mean, it wasn't noisy. Uh, really comfortable. I slept really good. So, hopefully things will continue that direction. I mean, just look at how gorgeous this is. If you've never been to Ore or, you know, Imogene Pass or Ulfa Pass or all of this, definitely, definitely need to get out here and do so. <laughs> this place is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, I wish it wasn't raining and I wish there were clearer skies. So, I think it's supposed to rain all weekend. Uh, I'll do my best to get some some good drone footage for you guys. I mean, I, I like the drone footage too. So, I will do my best to get that for you guys. Um, no promises, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it is absolutely gorgeous, so... Beautiful. So here we are with the Ulfer Pass elevation 11,789. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We've made it to Ulfer Pass here made it to the top it is absolutely gorgeous try hiking up that little cliff nope got burn i'm already having a hard enough time breathing at this elevation i can't wait till we go higher i know i know imaging fucking Another gorgeous two thousand feet higher it's freaking gorgeous oh dude the views have been insane. why have we not been here i don't know it's been on my bucket list for 2015 since yeah, I've been i bought the jk i've been wanting to come up here for a while and we've just never done it i don't know why So we made it all the way through Ulfer Pass. Um, we got all the way down to the bottom and we realized one of the vehiculars that we had with us uh, decided to throw a brake caliper right off. So that would be Kyle's dad's JK. All right, so now that the sun come out, I can show you my shirt. This is my newest shirt from my apparel partner, Crawler Ready. And uh, they have a ton of other shirts, all off-road driven, high quality. They last a long time, super comfortable. They also have hats, 
and shirts. So all of the clothes that you're going to see me wearing in this video will be from Crawl Ready. They also have um, hoodies um, and some stickers and patches and all that stuff. But their main focus right now is shirts and hats. Great company. And so with that, all of the stuff that you're going to be seeing me wearing in this video as far as shirts and hats are all from Crawler Ready. And I'll link a, dish, uh, a link to their website, crawlerready.com. And that way you guys can uh, check them out. Definitely give them a look. Very good quality stuff. So, uh, but here we are in Telluride right now. Not sure what you can see behind me, but it's gorgeous here. We just popped into Telluride from Ofer Pass. Uh, we're going to be getting, so we just refueled up. Didn't use much, but we refueled. Um, and so now we're going to try and hit up some of this other stuff, but uh, Imogene Pass namely being the one. So for right now, stay tuned for more action. Here it comes. All right. So we're heading up Imogene now, and uh, we barely got onto Tomboy Road here. Um, and I did get some faraway footage from Black Bear, but... It has now started to rain, um, so I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to be able to get. Hopefully, I can get uh, the drone in the air. Should If it stays like this, I should be able to get the drone in the air. Um, but major clouds have rolled in, and so there's not a whole lot that can be seen uh, because in all the gaps of all the valleys that are all filled with clouds now. So... Hopefully it clears up a little bit, um, but or we can get above it. I mean, we're at 10,000 feet right now, and we still have another 3,000 feet in elevation to go up. So hopefully we can get above the clouds to be able to see, or they break up and the sun comes out. That'd be ideal. But we'll see what happens and how it goes, but... I'm trying to get you guys a lot of the footage of our overlanding excursion here. So it's been uh, a great day of off. <laughs>
I can say this, Imogene is not disappointing. It is absolutely gorgeous up here with all the mines and everything else. So it is amazing. Awesome. So we have made it to the top of Imogene Pass. Elevation right here where I'm standing. I think it's 13,100 and change. So we are up here as a ways. We've been in and out of the snow. Got some beautiful peaks over here above the clouds as they're starting to roll in above us. So it's really cool up here. Um, it's it's pretty chilly. It's pretty chilly. I think my Jeep says it's like 64, but the the it's not 64. Like the the mist from the clouds and everything feels a lot worse than 64. A lot colder. Let me say that. So got a bunch of people up here, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Imaging Pass didn't disappoint. That's it for this video, guys. Be on the lookout for the next couple of videos here coming up from our Colorado trip. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. I know I sure did.